fractional equations. With these ones, okay, it's important you look at what is the lowest number that 2 and 6 both go into. So any of them bottom numbers go into. So if I write down my 2 times table and my 6 times table, the first number that appears on both lists is 6. So what I need to do now is multiply everything by 6. I'm going to put a bracket around these because there's more than one term there. So 6 times 4x minus 3 over 2 plus 6 times 7x plus 1 all over 6 equals 6 times 29 over 2. So all I've done is multiplied a 6 in front of each of them three expression, three, three terms. What I have to do now is cancel. So 6 divided by 2, because our line means divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so I can cancel the 2 out on the bottom. 6 divided by 6 is 1, so I get a bracket like this. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3, so I get 3 there. Whenever you see a bracket, you multiply it out. So 3 times 4x is 12x. Take away. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus, let's do the next bracket. 1 times 7x is 7x. And 1 times 1 is 1. And 3 times 29 is 87. When I collect these terms together now, 12x adds 7x is 19x. Minus 9 add 1 is minus 8, and that's equal to 87. To solve an equation now, you want all the x's on the one side, all the numbers on the other. So the takeaway 8 goes over and becomes plus 8. So 19x is equal to 95, and then because that means 19 times x, the opposite of times 19 is divided by 19. So x is 95 over 19, which is 5.